First off, Sue, I want to thank you for spending some time with us and letting us know what makes you an autumn athlete that's not done yet. Well, thank you for having me. Well, we're excited about it. I know I certainly am, and I know our audience is going to be uh, as we get going here. So let's just kick this thing right off with your bio basics. Hi, my name is Sue McDonald, and I am 60 years old. I'm a master's track and field athlete. I live in Santa Barbara, California. I was born in LA. I have three kids, um, a wonderful husband. My kids are 17, 19, and 29. And uh, I work as a personal trainer and running coach. I have my own track club. Uh, most of my work is done online. And I'm just starting to work with a few people in Santa Barbara face-to-face. -face. But uh, that pretty much sums up my bio basics. Sue has an extremely impressive resume. So we're going to do things a little bit different here. We're going to start out with some of her athletic achievements. Now, she's given me her full resume, which I'm going to post in the description below. So you can take a look at her uh, lengthy list of achievements. But I'm going to ask her to give us some highlights um, from her past, as well as highlights of uh, what she's doing now as a master's athlete. Okay, well, I'll start in college. I was a two-time runner-up NC2A Division II high jumper, and I achieved 6-1, was my best in college. Uh, Post-collegiately, I chased after the Olympic trials qualifier, which was 6-1 and a quarter. Didn't quite make it, but um, I chased that for a while. And then when I started doing masters, I broke a few records uh, my first year out, and Let's see, in the 400 meters, I ran 63.43 uh, last year. That was an American outdoor record and 64.31 for the indoor 400 record. And uh, this year, I had a huge year where I've broken four world records, four American records, in the 800 and 1500 indoors with a time of 508.88 for the 1500 and 225.72 for the 800. And then I came home two weeks later, I broke the world in American records in the outdoor 400 at 63.72, I believe. And I um, just broke the 800 in 222.52, which broke the American record by about 12 seconds and the world record by about eight seconds. Out of all of that and your entire athletic uh, career, what would you say are maybe one or even a couple of your most cherished uh, athletic achievements? Well, I did fail to mention that I took up pole vaulting was when I was in my low 30s and I qualified for the Olympic trials in 1996 in Atlanta in the pole vault. So that was one of my most cherished um, achievements was getting to the Olympic trials finally, not in my main event, which was the high jump for years, but for pole vault, which I picked up after I had my first child. I guess my other cherished um, achievement was most recently when I went to Poland and competed in the world championships, I finally, after 10 years of chasing a world individual world record, I got that world record in the uh, actually two world records in the 800 and 1500. And I trained super hard for this. I gave up, um, gave up my wine. <laughs> <laughs> I made up from four to five hours of sleep every night to seven to eight hours. I changed my diet um, and I just really, really committed to achieving my goals. And, I, and it was really fun to actually do it. So why don't you give us an idea of your current training regimen? Okay. Uh, usually I have about two track workouts a week, uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Uh, the rest of the week, I'll do some endurance runs, um, weightlifting throughout the week. Uh, and I also cross train on the bike about twice a week. So that's kind of like my training regimen. Okay. What about diet and nutrition? That's kind of big for me because I used to be a vegetarian or a pescatarian. I didn't eat any red meat or poultry for seven years. And I started working with a metabolic practitioner named uh, Cynthia Monteleone. Um and she set me up with a um, the routine where I start eating. I started eating red meat um, and poultry, and I'm on some supplements and vitamins and minerals and supplements. And so that was a complete change for me to go from not eating meat for seven years to eating meat 
Mm -hmm. And I found that um, my body started to feel better. Uh, I have less pain, uh, less inflammation. My achievements picked up. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I was able to um, break the records. And so I think that my diet and my routine had a lot to do with that. So tell us what goals or events you're chasing this year. Kind of had in my mind, I was going to chase after seven world records. So far, I got the four. So I have three left. The three left are the 300 meter hurdles, the outdoor 1500 and the outdoor mile. So I have those scheduled in June and July. So we have the USATF Masters Outdoor Nationals in July in North Carolina. So I'll do the four, most likely do the 400, 800 in hurdles. Um, and I'm also going to be in the master's exhibition 100 meters which is a little short distance for me but i was selected to run in the los angeles grand prix which is a professional meet it's going to be at ucla and um so a lot of the grand prix will have uh exhibitions and the masters will be able to race so i'll be able to race with all the, not with the pros but you know um in front of a big audience put it that way sounds very exciting yeah, it should be really fun. Last year, I got to run in the uh, 800 meters exhibition, which was at Hayward Field. And after they redid the whole track and everything, and um, it was right in the middle of outdoor uh, USATF nationals. So that was very exciting to run on that track during open nationals, not sure. masters. <laughs> sure, sure. Okay, so we're going to get into a little lightning round of a couple of questions that are always uh, fun for our audience to know about you. So let's start off with what's your favorite training exercise? Not really. These aren't really fun exercises, but I do three exercises to help strengthen uh, my hip. And I have a torn hip labrum that happened when I, I was high jumping in 2015, a few months before uh, Worlds in France. So I've been dealing with a torn hip labrum for what, seven years or whatever. And I finally found... Um, some exercises through David Gray Rehab um, that helped me not have any pain. So that's why they're my favorite. <laughs> so one is a hip hinge, one is um, it's a, like a bridge, a one-legged bridge. And the other one is like an adductor slide type of thing. But so they're basically, you know, PT exercises, but I love them because I'm able to train and, and compete with no pain anymore. So yeah, we definitely love to be able to be painless in our training, don't yes. we? Yes. <laughs> what is your go-to cheat meal or dessert? Definitely the big, warm chocolate chip cookie. Tell us your secret sauce to health and fitness. I think my secret sauce to health and fitness, first and foremost, is to have fun. Be passionate about what you're doing. Find something that's fun. Like, I train really, really hard, but... I love seeing how good I can get at every stage of life. So um, I'm just always pushing to see what my potential is as I grow older. Um, but also um, my secret sauce is uh, the, the diet, my coaching. I got a new coach this year, Terry Howell out of Santa Barbara. He coaches uh, blue collar running a little group. And I've been able to train with a coach basically face to face, which is the first time I've done that since probably college. Also train with a group. Uh, I had been training solo for many, many years. Uh, so now I train with a group. They're much younger than me, but my coach is good at working me in with them. Keep it fun and um, get your sleep, eat well. I know you mentioned a little bit about doing some coaching and training. I will post all of Sue's uh, links and information in the description below, but why don't you just give us a little bit of an idea of what you do do uh, for training other folks? Uh, well, I train, you know, mostly people like mostly adults. In fact, um, mostly masters track and field. <laughs> uh, I do coach some marathoners and half marathoners and road racers. Um, and what I do is I program their running workouts and uh, the ones that do choose uh, strength training. I create a strength training program for them. And it's all online. So I have, I deal with a couple of apps. Um, and uh, some of the women that I've coached for the last couple of years begged me to start my own track club. So I did, <laughs> reluctantly. <laughs> but we have our little track clubs, about seven members right now. And it's called the Pursuit of Excellence. And um, 
So we have that. And we did actually pretty well at nationals last year with like just four people. I think we, we were top 20 <laughs> in the club. So you can find me at suemcdonaldfitness.com on the internet, uh, Sue McDonald Fitness on Instagram and Facebook, but I'm not much on Twitter. <laughs> and we'll post those again all in the description below so our audience can go and check those out. So, so this has been a lot of fun. Um, you know, the idea of autumn athletes is really to highlight folks that do all different sports and, and participate at all different levels. And so, you know, to me, it's, uh, you don't have to be a world record holder. You, you might be trying to just get yourself going to be able to walk around the block. And, and that's as great as anything. Uh, but it is awesome to have a treat to really have a chance to talk to someone like you that has has reached the pinnacle of fitness for so many years and still going stronger than ever. Uh, so it, it is great to have that inspiration and see what the human body can do with the, the right motivation and so forth and so on. So we really appreciate you sharing with us today uh, and telling us what makes you an autumn athlete that's not done yet. And I just want to end by giving you the floor to give us any final thoughts that you'd like to share with our audience. Yes, I'd like to invite anyone who's interested in joining the Masters Track and Field community because uh, we're a great community of people, um, basically at all different kinds of levels. We have, you know, not just sprinting and distance running, but we have road races and all that stuff. So yeah, I would I would love if anyone has any questions about track and field or the Masters Track and Field community, you know, feel free to reach out to me and uh, we'd love to have you. There you have it, folks. Sue McDonald an autumn athlete that is absolutely not done yet. Please support the channel by liking, subscribing, and dinging that bell for notifications. And we're going to see you next time.